Hi guys, hope everybody is doing really well today. Um, today I've been to an antique fair, picked up some very interesting bits and bobs, which I'm going to show you. I also have a couple of eBay purchases. Um, so today I was going to go Frisbee, um, but the there was a big run around the Frisbee course, the um, Manchester Half Marathon. So I decided belatedly to go to an antique fair. I thought it'd be a bit late, but at least at least it doesn't waste the journey drive, driving to the um, Frisbee. So in the end, I ended up going to an antique fair with not very much high hopes because it was about an hour and a half, two hours too late really. But I came back with a couple of real gems. Um, so I'll show you what I picked up. Now, I found this really cool Indian, um, I think it's um, beetle nut or something, um, cutters. Um, they look a little bit like circumcisers to me, but I just kind of like the shape and the design of them. Quite fine on, on the end, quite fine, um, quite a pretty design. Something like beetle nut or something, um, cutters, that's what the guy said anyway. But really, really cool. These are probably from the 1850s or something from, in, or from India. Um, I thought they were really cool, so I picked them up. Um, I found this brass, sort of, it looks like it's like a Bunsen burner for holding... Obviously, you can attach it to something. Um, here's a pencil. You can you can attach it, and then it will hold up slightly thicker, I think, than a pencil. But yeah, so it will hold hold up something or another. I don't know why. I paid a fiver for it. I thought it was a bit of fun. Now I'm going to show you my best purchase of the day. I wonder if you guys can think which one it might be. And um, the best thing I bought today um, was this absolutely amazing. Luke, Lucas Cyclo, and it's got an E on the end, um, steel warranted. Now this is a Lucas wrench, um, circa 1895. Um, and this is the completely first example of this design to ever come to light. And I bought it and off the same seller um, and I paid two pounds for it, which was an absolute steal of a lifetime. Um, and I got it off the same seller who I bought this apprentice vice for £10 off. So this seller seems to be an absolutely wonderful, <laughs> probably my favourite seller of all time. Probably my best two buys have been off the same seller in the same market. But this is a Lucas Cycling and I'm very excited to add this to my collection. Um, this is a seriously, seriously plain but rare as they come adjustable spanner this is rare 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 super rare so i will show you um the other two versions which have been found so in in ron geesin's second book there's a cyclo um here with which is a completely different design to my one um you can see mine's a little bit more primitive and this one's got a tail on the end um but it is a lucas cyclo and then the other design, which is more similar to mine, um, which is this one here, which is the new Cyclo 1895. But I think this one, to me, just looks a little bit more primitive. This one has got um, a hole in the handle. It's got a slightly thin jaw for narrow access. Well, these jaws are pretty much parallel, quite chunky. So yeah, so a new Lucas. It's a shame, really, because this belongs in the rare spanner book because this is a rare example. So that was an absolute steal. Um, really, really pleased with that. And off the same chap, I bought a few other items. I bought these um, Great Rest, uh, Western Railway Paycheck Tags um, from the Great Western Railway. Uh, really cool. And then this one here, which is like, um, you know, I don't know where that's from. Um, so I bought six of those uh, for £10 off the same chat, um, which was really good. And I also bought these um, off the same chap as well. These are um, screwdrivers and also r r rimming, or what do you call it, reamers, and also taps and a die. Um, there's two of them. I've seen this what's one similar to this before, but I've not seen one with a T-handle with a screwdriver. So I was really pleased with that. Um, they were £10 each, so £20 for the two, which I thought was reasonable. 
Um, so they were all off the same seller, but this is my absolute best buy I've bought in a long while. Very plain, but extremely rare. Only one known in the world. Um, I also bought this lovely little wrench. It's got a W um, and an F, but the way it's engraved in, I think it's quite early. Um, don't know what, so I just like the tubular design. I give 10 pounds for that little spanner, which is probably too much. We've also got here a, a, a Rinso, um, um, what do you call it, protractor is it? Um, with advertising on it, metric measurements, inch measurements from Liverpool, West Bromwich, London. Um, and I thought that was kind of, I just like that. I give nine pounds for that, I chip the lady a pound. Um, I got three brass plaques. We've got a Thomas Hudson. Ain't that the same as that one, Hudson? Oh yeah. R.S. Hudson and a Thomas Hudson. Oh, that's interesting. Established in 1820, so 200 years ago. Manchester, where it's where I'm from. We've also got a um, Eagle Works Dudley um, um, W. Madeley and Son Limited. Really, really nice um, Dudley. So if you're from Dudley, the woman had nine pounds. Blah blah blah. Eight pounds. This one was, I think, it was eight pounds. Um, and that was nine. I give her 20 pounds for the three. So it probably works out at like six pound odd each, which is not too bad. Um, so yeah, I was quite happy with those. And then last but certainly not least, I found this off a really wonderful seller as well. I got this um, really nice safety padlock. Um, obviously this is, must be for locking gas cabinets or electricity cabinets, because it's not, very secure in the slightest it's just to stop people um and it's got the red paint and it's got the original key which has got really nice graphics on it and it's got the original tags it's your responsibility carry the key with you be safe um so yeah lovely item really really cool um yeah i like that that was fun that was my most expensive purchase at 40 pounds but i think it was fair value i really like it i think it's a nice thing so and then also on the table, which I didn't buy from the antique fair, um, was this I bought on eBay. And I'm not quite sure why I bought it, to be honest. It looked to be in good condition. Um, and obviously it's a French um, or German, I'm not too sure. Um, Stern, is it Stern and Co? Uh, it works. I think it works really smoothly. You know, with a touch of the hand, real smooth. Um, and it's in lovely condition. But probably it was on, I saw it on eBay and, you know, it's in lovely condition, but I saw it and it had about 10 minutes to go and I put a small bid and I won it. I think it was about £15 with the postage, um, but I don't know why I bought it though. But yeah, so that's what I bought. I also bought one other lot, which I'm going to show you now. All right. Thanks for watching. See you in a sec. Right, so these are the other items I've picked up recently. Um, this is for my friend Leslie in the US. This is an unbreakable um, AC Wells um, lamp. I've been buying a lot of these lamps recently. I must have bought over 10 of them. Um, and this one is, is quite nice, actually. Quite a nice design. Quite an attractive handle. So this is an AC Wells cast iron lamp for Leslie. I'm, and he's got a bunch of these. I've got a few more in boxes over there. Um, this is a little CK. Um, four inch adjustable spanner and um, this is also for leslie for his collection he collects he's got over 400 adjustable spanners my buddy leslie 400 four inch adjustable spanners now i bought this job lot um, um there's a lot of these two have no interest or these three have no interest this is mildly interesting this is a fast fit but it's not in the very best of condition but needs a clean up um, and then these two are the reason why i bought it these are quick adjust uh, pipe wrenches, filthy dirty, absolutely filthy dirty. Um, but it's the quick adjust um, kind of funky designs. Um, and they are made in Germany, DPG or something, DHG, German. So, so yeah, so that's pretty much everything I bought. Um, this was not a lot of money, but these are quite, so, you know, these are quite cool, these uh, quick adjust more more interesting than the wheel type anyway so yeah so that's everything i bought hopefully you enjoyed my quick video have a great day take care bye
I decided to give them a quick clean because they were a bit disgusting. So quick adjust, you pull it forward, slide it forward. The bigger one seems to be a bit more pitted. Mechanism works really well on this one and doesn't go down the teeth grip pretty well. Um, the markings is Montus, DRGM Mon Montus or something, German, very cool. And then the fast fit, I decided to clean it. Um, quite nice, warranty protect, fast fit, quick adjust. This side's got some pitting on it after cleaning, but not too bad. So yeah, quick five, quick 10 minute or so, wash down and a dry and a wax. And yeah, they look a little bit better. So there you go. All right, have a great day. Take care, bye.